What's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, playing the brand new champion, Nico. We're playing her here in the jungle, actually, which I'm pretty sure is not her main role, but it definitely can work. I think she's meant to be a mid laner, but beat up jungle main myself. I wanted to try it out, but here's Nico, the curious chameleon. She's really cute, and it has a lot of cool spells in her kit. Some spells I'm honestly kind of jealous Wukong didn't get, but you know, it is what it is. Here's the recall. She spawns a tree and then <laughs> blends on into it. Very nice. Let's get ourselves to a harness talisman. And I feel like two potions isn't quite right. I mean, isn't it refillable or three potions? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to go with three potions here. I think the recommend is just not quite ideal <laughs> since it's for getting a potion. But yeah, playing as the Curious Chameleon Nico in the jungle. I think it definitely has some weaknesses since her base HP is kind of low. It's not the lowest, of course, but it's just not quite ideal. Her armor base isn't amazing. So we're going to take some damage in the jungle. But our clears are okay damage-wise. Just, you know, we're pretty reliant on our spells. Our uh, auto attacks don't do a ton, but luckily for us, we have our teammates here leashing us, which makes it a lot better. And you can see already to start here, we're just going to kind of kite out the red, get our Q in there, doing some extra damage this time around. The thing with it is it can reproc its damage a few times, but the problem with that as well is you have to keep it in one spot, and keeping it sitting still is kind of tricky. Let's get our E here, level 2, though. I'll explain our spells, our passive, all these things as we go, but I first just want to make sure my pacing for getting anything done is, you know, at least somewhat ideal. So you can see the, the uh, Q reprocking, doing its damage a few times there, actually, which definitely helps out. Now let's go do the same thing here with the Big Wolf. Yeah, our clears aren't the worst. They're definitely not too bad. You just got to kind of pace yourself. And I had to kind of come back in, because otherwise the Wolf was going to reset there. But all right, on to the blue buff. Not too bad of a start for us. So I guess the first thing I'll mention is our passive. I kind of want to show it more than I want to explain it. So maybe I'll be able to explain it again in more detail once we can show it. But for the most part, what I'll explain to you now is that you're able to actually camouflage as one of your teammates. And you will remain camouflaged, uh, as, even if when you use other spells, as long as they're not actually either your Q or your E. If you use your W while camouflaged, or use your ultimate while camouflaged, you'll actually remain camouflaged until uh, you do damage. So it's not too bad of a way to go. And I like how we can snare up the Scuttle Crab. I think that's really good for the jungle prowess this champion might have. Because there's a lot of champions who want a jungle and they just really can't take out the scuttle crab because they have no hard CC, whereas we don't have that issue and that really helps out. And whoop, one last auto attack will do it. So let's get our W here. I'm going to get a ward down as well just on this area here. Now let's see if we can get a gank off actually. This echo is getting pretty overextended. We just got to find the right angle to hit our spells. Oh, he's going to go there, but the auto attack, there we go. The first blood, nice easy first blood for us. I wasn't expecting it to be that swift, but all right, I'll take it. So I guess with this downtime now, oh, maybe it's not so down anyways, actually. Let's, let's see. Are you in the brush? I don't think that gives me vision, but it does reproc, and that's enough vision sometimes. What's this fool doing? Oh, the Q kill, baby. Let's go. All right, hold on. Can we rotate around and catch this Oriana off guard? I'm thinking probably not. She saw me coming. Oh, but there's some damage hitting her. Slap up with the auto attacks. One more auto attack for good measure. Oh, yeah. I still have an extra potion in my inventory, and I've got two kills, so we're all set, baby. So let's go ahead and try and see if I can use my passive. How do I how do I use it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I'm Rise. <laughs> it's along this toolbar here. You know, first time playing this champion. I've read up lots about her, but I don't fully really know how it all functions, but now we got a better idea of it. I'm just not totally sure uh, what the cooldown on that is like, but there we go. It's actually in the bottom left corner. That's perfect. So we can actually camouflage as our teammates very, very often. And pressing shift doesn't really give us more information, but still, it's something you can do. Let's go ahead and get ourselves the Krugs. I'll have my smite soon enough to make this nice and easy. Beautiful. Yeah, actually, our clears feel really good now. I mean, maybe then again, I'm just kind of fed now because I've gotten two kills, but this feels smooth. This feels good. Oops, and that was a misclick. Excuse me, I thought that was my E spell. All right, here we go. Let's uh, look bottom. I mean, these guys are kind of chunked. I feel like if I go through the lane, I might be able to make something happen. Uh, Blooming Burst, though, you can kind of see. We just toss out a little C that does some damage, and it'll kind of re-trigger its damage, uh, but only about half. But it'll re-trigger another twi uh, twice after the first initial hit, so you can kind of double the damage through three hits, if that makes sense to you. Now let's go ahead and do some damage to this guy. Boom, we got him. They did not see that one coming. The Sneaky Chameleon doesn't even, even need to camouflage. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and camouflage a Soraka and gank mid or something. Alright, be afraid. The Soraka's going for the ganks. 
So I was thinking the way this would work is I would have to be near that teammate and then I can kind of just go and camouflage as anybody, but it seems like I can camouflage as anybody even if they're not nearby, which is kind of broken if you ask me. I don't know, what do you guys think? It feels kind of broken to me. Either way though, I'm looking for Udyr in his jungle and I'm not finding him, so let's take his Gromp. But yeah, this seed, I don't think it does any CC. I think it's just a damage source, but you know, damage sources aren't bad. I like it. Uh, we haven't used our W yet, and I want to find the opportunity to show it to you guys. And whoops, this guy's resetting. That wasn't planned. But as far as I understand it, you go stealth, and after you go stealth, at, or during the time you're going stealth, you can actually toss out a, uh, a uh, duplicate of yourself, and that duplicate will be the exact same as whatever you're camouflaged as, or if you're just yourself, it'll just be a duplicate of yourself. Uh, just for, I guess, testing's sake, let's go ahead and direct it that way, and boom, you can see a duplicate of ourself, we stealth briefly, and it walks in the direction we had our cursor. Not bad. Alright, but I'm gonna go back now. Uh, our E, of course, you've seen it a few times now. It goes to a few targets, up to, I think, a total of three additional after the first one. Sorry, yeah, two additional after the first one, so three targets getting hit total. And the last one gets rooted for extra, which is pretty sweet. Let's get ourselves the... Oh, I can finish the Runic Echoes already. Nice. And I guess I'll get a potion here as well. Not a bad way to start things off. If you guys are enjoying the game here to start, make sure to drop that rating on the video as well, by the way. It really helps out the channel a lot. I will mention we are continuing with the Program LeBlanc giveaways, so if you guys want to win... Uh, a program LeBlanc skin code with the Chroma as well through the League of Legends Partner Program. And this is for North America only, unfortunately, but still, if you guys are from North America, simply like the video, subscribe to the channel, and last but not least is comment in the comment section letting me know what you think of Nico, the newest champion to the League of Legends. So far, I am loving this character. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to quickly use my W here to cancel that auto attack because it does make me stealth. Not a bad way to do it. And you can see our clears are actually like, pretty decent. Like, we do decent damage to this. And I'm pretty sure there's a passive as well on my W that makes it so I have buffed auto attacks. And it looks like a one for one bottom lane, but oh man, Sorok with the barrier trying to keep herself alive. The Thresh auto attacks might be enough, the slaps, but the minion damage on Thresh, this is dangerous. But it looks like Thresh will find what he's looking for. Okay. Well, I'm gonna come on through. I'm gonna pretend to be Master Yi. I'm just a Master Yi, don't mind me. <laughs> oh, you're going this way, huh? The big auto attack, what? <laughs> that auto attack did so much damage. I'm going to have to look at more of my spells to understand why my auto attack did so much there, but that worked out nicely. Alright, let's drop these Qs, clear up the waves. This champion's actually super overtuned, I can already tell. Like, I do so much damage, it's ridiculous. So the uh, seeds will only repop and do more damage, our Q, uh, if it hits a large monster or a champion. That is the catch. And I just taxed all of his farm, I feel kind of bad about that, but then again... Then again, I can camouflage his rise. Oh, does that cost me HP? I don't think it does. I think it's just uh, I think it's a meme. No, I'm just kidding. But I think I'm just, it's because I'm camouflaging as if I have Rise's health bar, right? Oh, I got this guy doing some damage. Hmm. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that was cool. I don't really. I'm not fully sure I understand what happened there, but that was cool. I think what ended up happening is I used my alt and I was trying to approach, but then I kind of stopped moving for a while. Oh, got one! Can I get the fresh too? Auto attack, yes! Get me to safety though! The stealth! The <laughs> I went so deep for that, so ham, and Soraka did everything in her power to save me. All the heals. All the heals weren't enough. I mean, it was great though. We still killed both of them, but I mean, it just kind of blows because, of course, I went down. Either way though, let's get ourselves the sorcerer boots here, and I'm thinking as well. Protobelt seems like a great item for this champion, just based upon what I've seen of her so far. I'm going to pick up... Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get the control ward here. We'll go towards the blue. Okay, so... Does this cost HP or not? Because I don't think it does. Let's just camouflage the Master Yi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost any uh, HP. Cool. Now, there's this purple gauge. I don't know what that does, but there's something there. Oh, my blue's gone. These bastards took it, dude. But yeah, since I used my E there, I on camouflage. I think I hit him. I made the sound for Runic Echoes, so that's not bad. And hey. So I should probably find a better use for this guy. I think the best way to use it is probably when I'm already camouflaged with somebody else. I, uh, I use it to kind of juke what I'm doing even further. So let's try that. Oh god, this guy's actually pretty strong already. But look how much damage I just did. That was insane. 
Come back. Come back here. I want to fight you. <laughs> nah, he wants nothing to do with me. He wants nothing to do with this action. Alright, well, let's just camouflage in three seconds as somebody, then maybe gank up this Echo. I'm gonna camouflage his Rise. See right there, why'd I lose HP? I didn't actually lose HP, did I? Man, this guy's juking everything I'm throwing at him. At least I got some damage done, but it doesn't really equate to much when he dodges everything I use. I probably could use my ultimate, though. That would have probably helped. So yeah, with my ultimate, after 1.25 seconds, I leap into the air, I gang a shield that absorbs damage, and when I land, it deals some more damage, but I feel like there's a brief point where I'm kind of leaping in the air where I'm not really moving as much as I would like to be, and that's kind of, I think, what happened bottom lane where I tried to approach them, and it just unfortunately did not quite line up. Alright, max in that E second, they, they cut the Cloud Dragon, damn. Okay. Well, Rise is backing, so I'm going to camouflage this Rise, and I found the Echo. Oh, got him. Got this on him. Oh my god, our damage. Let's pop our ultimate, and... Boom, big damage. But it... Oh, it's not gonna be enough yet, though. Yes! Oh yeah, we got him! <laughs> the prediction! <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that was calculated. Alright, let's push this wave in. Master gets... Oh, I think he missed it. Yikes. Still, that ultimate looks super cool, dude. Because, like, mostly broke uh, Echo's shield there with his W, right? That was uh, pretty sweet. And if we roll back around here, ooh, got a red buff. I'm kind of worried about using all my spells to clear this, but I feel like clearing it quickly is the name of the game on this one. And if Udyr shows up, I'll have to juke him. Okay, here we go. And she just warded. I'm going to come behind her here. Let's go and camouflage this Master Yi. I'm just a Master Yi, don't mind me. All right, here we come. Boop. <laughs> oh my god, my damage. Dude, there's no chance. <laughs> Even he's putting the question marks in there. Why do I do so much damage? This champion's nuts. Right? Even Rise is like, what? No freaking way, man. Alright, hold on. Let's come bottom lane. My passive needs another few seconds. Oh, does he need help? Alright, alright. I can I can dig some action. Let's pretend we're Master Yi. Mr. Master Yi, coming through. Don't mind me. Making the big robes. I don't think Master Yi sounds like this, but somehow in my head he does. Oh dear, where, where are you at? I'm just Master Yi. Alright, I think he I think he knew what was going on. <laughs> he knew I wasn't Master Yi. But maybe Echo won't know the difference because he's already facing Master Yi. He doesn't know which one's real. Maybe he thinks this is the uh the Nico. Alright, well here we come. Oh, big damage. Look at this. <laughs> what? No freaking way! <laughs> that guy died instantly. This is insane. Why is this champion a thing? Riot, this is too much. You've made this champion too good so far. Like, come on. You guys gotta get your balance team in line. I should not be able to two-spell one-shot an opponent champion this early. That's that's insane. Alright, either way, I'm gonna reorganize the teams. I'm surprised I haven't done that already. Uh, put this here, you there. Boom, boom. Wait. Okay. Alright, red buff's already half health. Not bad, not bad. And we'll finish this guy up. Cool. Alright, time to come bottom lane. I'm not sure who was there, but I'm gonna pretend I'm Rise. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're Thresh left, but there's a small chance he's still here, right? Walk into it. Oh. Boom! <laughs> that was fun. I kind of used everything in my arsenal, which was very overkill, but it was still super awesome. Because, uh, yeah, using my ultimate, you can flash while you're channeling your ultimate, and that makes it so that... Yeah, that shield, okay. Oh, here we come. I'm just a Master Yi. I'm just a Master... Oh. Okay, I can't reach her. She flashed. So, yeah, I think I'm finding um pretty good usage out of my, my Q, my E. The chameleon stuff, not as much so far. I'm still, you know, just learning Nico, so I'm still trying to master that stuff, but I think specifically the W is my weakest point right now. I think the W would be really good for juking defensively, but offensively, I think it's really just the passive I get use out of. Oh, what the heck are these fools doing? The proto belt. Oh, smite on this guy. Auto attacks. Yeah, we got him. Not quite going to reach the uh, Orion on that one. So I might be completely 
<laughs> wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure I actually protobelted into the back of the tower. <laughs> Alright, well, Rise is dead, so they won't fall for a charade about Rise, but oh god. Leave me alone. I kill you. I'm gonna go stealth for a little bit here. Oh, Master G going through. He's gonna get the kills he needs. Oh god. No, 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 no. Don't do it. <laughs> I still got her. <laughs> oh, do you get the echo? Come on, I want an assist. I've got no assist this game. Alright. There we go, never mind. Alright, so, items. Jesus, this game is insanely fun. I'm loving this champion, you guys. Let's get ourselves the, uh, the Oblivion Orb, more magic pen, HP, keep myself alive, all that good stuff. I feel like Lich Bane might be pretty good for this character, since you only have really two spells, so you're almost always going to get an auto attack in there. And with your passive, every third attack, I mean, that doesn't say auto attack, every third attack. Right? And that makes me think... I mean, I'm not sure this is meant to be just for your auto attacks, but I think every third attack could kind of constitute one, two, auto attack being three, right? So that's kind of where I think that third auto attack, or third attack, would be an auto that would be buffed with Lich Bane, and could be really good. Anyways, though, gonna eat ourselves the blue. I'm gonna clear some more jungles well, and I, re I realize we're kind of losing dragons while all this is happening, but I don't know. When you're playing a mage jungler, even if it is Nico, who apparently is very broken, uh, I don't feel like soloing dragons really her strong suit, right? I mean, just, you're bursty. You're not sustained damage. You're not like Kha'Zix, who can just spam Qs and s consistently take it down at a good rate. So that's kind of weird, as I think. This champion could probably solo dragon if she gets fed enough, which I'm definitely nearing. But in the same moment, I feel like getting my team fed and just getting fed myself is kind of a bigger priority than getting an ocean dragon. Yeah, great wave clear. I'm loving this. So apparently top side had some issues with the Udyr. Um, who's alive in my team? I'm going to pretend I'm Rise. Yes, I'm Rise, and I TP'd bottom. Oh, look at how many group. There's so many here. This is going to be such a great grouping for my ultimate. Let's go ahead and stealth on in. Press R. Boom, baby! <laughs> no freaking way, dude! <laughs> that was insane! This champion is so broken. I just walked in with R. <laughs> now, I might be wrong about the exact way I did it, but I'm pretty sure while I did it, I was in stealth as Rise, and I used my W, because that does not break my camouflage. And then I just showed up, still Rise, used my R, <laughs> and one-shot them. Oh my god. This character is so overtuned. Riot. Hire new balance team. Your champion design team is amazing, but the balance team... What is this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you guys, the balance team. If you guys hear this, just know I'm just giving you some extra flax. It's funny. <laughs> Alright, what's this Udyr gonna do to me? Oh, I think I missed my Q here. Um, Alright, let's just stealth a little bit. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. Jesus, dude. That controller just gets wrecked. Oh, God. Um... Oh my, oh I missed, I hit nobody dude, no I hit nobody, get me out, get me out, I hit nobody with my ult, no. <laughs> they all walked away from me, I thought they were all going to go after me, so I used my ult early to try and like anticipate them coming after me, but then nobody was after me, they're like, oh no, fuck that, I'm out. Alright, well, Master, you should be able to clean up Udyr very nicely. Yes, he will. He's going to get these auto attacks here onto Ezreal. Maybe one more alpha strike to chase him down. He's got it. He's going across the wave. Oh, wait, he went for somebody else. Still auto attacks on Orianna, but he's getting CC'd by Thresh. All that crowd control. The Meditate, the Ignite is still ticking him, but the Meditate might have saved him for what he needed. Maybe Soraka heals being a factor here, too. Looking for the outplay on the Thresh, maybe. Maybe the Flay being dodged by the alpha strike. The heals from Soraka. The Orianna missing her spells, but here comes Master Yi. Oh, he's going to alpha strike in. The Shockwave. Oh, the Meditate! Come on! Survive! And the Echo's gonna come through. The red buff might take him down. Oh wait, that's red buff of Master Yi. Never mind. Okay. Let's get ourselves, uh... Dude, I'm going full AP. This AP ratio is absolutely nuts. Like, that is what's making this ultimate so strong. Like, the base damage is definitely really high. Like, 425, are you serious? But, it's more than that. That 465 out of 358 AP, that's like a 1.3... 1.4 ratio? I'm not sure. Maybe we only 1.2. My math's not my strong suit, but it's more than 1.0, and that's insane. Because, like, think about how much damage you can do with AP of Mumu's ult, and that's a, uh, that's a 1.0. I'm pretty sure it's a 1.0. This is even better, and that's insane. I don't know why they'd make anything any better than that, to be honest. 
I, this reminds me of release Echo, because when Echo first got released... Oops. Oh, God. All right. If you want me that badly, that's that's okay. I'm just going to alt, because he's in my face and needs to die. There we go. The ultimate's cooldown is only a minute, too. It's not bad at all, so that's pretty sweet. And there was somebody here. I thought so, but not anymore. Yeah, you know, I, I really want to give advice on how to play this character. I mean, I've explained her kit and stuff, but in the same moment, it's kind of tough when the best advice I can give is play her, she's broken. <laughs> like, seriously, this is ridiculous. Oh, it looks like my team went into a fight, though, and didn't do too well. Yikes. Okay, I did not think things would go that sour that, qu uh, that quick. I was just going to, like, split push for a little bit just to get an objective or two, but... All right, well, my ultimate coming up in about 20 seconds, I should be able to uh, make a play if I need to. But for, getting this, getting, for now, getting this tower is not too bad. All right, I don't think they're coming after me just yet, but Udyr might chase me. And this is kind of where it is, like, I have an opportunity to maybe flank them here, but I'm not sure if that's the right way to play this. Oh, they're already sniffing me out. If they're sniffing me out already, this is not going to get much better. Let's just grab this guy here first. Oh, he smited it, dude. No. No. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Buddy. Buddy guy. Oh, okay, they missed the brush. I think they're on the dragon. Yeah, they already got it. I kind of just want to camouflage his rise and then go find them. I think that's the way to play this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rise, guys. Don't worry. I'm just a rise. Nothing to worry about. All right, well, their Echo's top. That gives us a bit of an opportunity in this fight, but I'm not sure it's a big enough opportunity. I'm just a rise. Oh, here comes the pop. Boom, baby! Oh, I thought he would actually live a little bit longer than that. Um, Can I catch up to this Orianna? She's pretty quick. Oh, I thought that would reach. Not quite. So can we push down mid? I feel like we probably can. We have some numbers. Maybe not a ton of numbers, but enough. Oh, there's some good damage. Oh, here it comes. Get this echo. Oh, not quite enough to kill him, but now he's back. Not quite enough, though. All right, let's just hit the tower for some damage. I got some decent tower damage here. Oh, their team's coming through. Zoned the Oriana off, I guess, at least. Oh, tower. Nice. Drop this behind us. Big damage. I'm out of mana, though, so I gotta be a little bit cautious about how I proceed here. Apparently, we lost a turret. I think that was top. I'm kind of surprised, because I see Udyr next to it, and he didn't get credit. Strange. All right, either way, let's get this. Hopefully, Udyr doesn't come and smite this, too. Alright, I thought he might be around. No, not the case. Awesome. See, I think I'll just clear for a while here. I have a lot of money to spend, and I definitely want to spend it, but I want to still be effective in where I just like, go on the map for the time being. Boom. Okay. Rabadons. Guys, this, this champion's insane. I cannot believe what is going down this game. Because I'm making these big, huge plays with damage. And they're not even really that mechanically challenging, right? It's just really just, you know, hit your two long-range skill shots and press R. <laughs> and every now and again, I get the stealth and make a play. All right, speaking of which, let's be Master Yi. I'm just Master Yi. Oh, wait, this guy's just going to keep walking forward. I really thought he was going to juke back. <laughs> Most players do that, right? They juke back towards their team when things go sour. It's not this guy. Oh, got him caught now. Auto attack. All right, I'm gonna camouflage this rise this time. Here we come. Oh, got one. Oh, I think we get all of them. Yeah, Master's just gonna clean them up. Nice. Yeah, I think we just kind of overpowered them on that one since they didn't have Udyr. But now Udyr is pressuring top. I'm not sure whether to be worried about that or not. 
I really want to find one of those opportunities where they all just group up around me and I just get an instant penna. That'd be sweet. But I don't know if that's going to happen if they're split pushing. I have Void Staff pretty soon when I want it, but not quite yet. I'm going to investigate this red buff, see what's going on. Not much, okay. I don't know if they had this brush warded, and either way, I can camouflage with somebody. I'll be Master Yi. Oh, they know now. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and goon squad the Udyr, I guess. Oh, found Echo. Oh, he juked forward. Oh, popping the R. Oh, this might be it. Boom! Oh my god, the damage! Oh, don't get me killed, though. Live. Smite the minion. Run away. Oh, the damage. Yes. I mean, Soraka heals are really helping here. Oh, the Udyr? Yep. Oh, the one-shot on Ori? Yes. Auto attacks? Oh my god, dude. This is insane. Oh, here comes somebody. Kaiza. Oh, reach. Yes, there we go. Helping her out. Nice. Not that she needed it, to be honest. <laughs> All right, let's push down. Yeah, this champion's pretty insane, you guys, because you have stealth, so you always have a get out of jail free card. You have powerful auto attacks with your W. You've got huge bursts on your spells, and you're kind of tanky if you go Morello and Proto Belt. I'm, lo I'm loving this, guys. This is so much fun. Uh, I'm full build already. I mean, I guess I'll just get an elixir for now, but I'm probably gonna end up re replacing my spell pen boots with something sweet. Well, Kai's is in some trouble. I mean, that thresh ult's gonna hurt, but that Sorak ult's really gonna help the auto attacks coming through. Breaking her gradually. I'm breaking her. Breaking him. Well, I guess breaking her too. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, everyone collapses on her. And the Raptor camp is gone before I could even blink. Alright, Master, you got that. Let's go ahead and be rise. And this Udyr is going to turn it around, but he's already gone. Protobelt kill, baby. <laughs> okay, I can camouflage again soon, but not quite yet. Let's just get the wolves for now. Boop. And hello. Oh, here comes some damage. Udyr score, though. He's the devil. <laughs> Alright, let's be Kaiza this time. I'm just Kaiza. Oh, I missed everything! No, not like this! No! <laughs> no! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to ult for this. Come on, kill them all! Yes! Oh my god, no freaking way! I'm still alive! Soraka! Soraka, please, yes! Oh! She walked into a lot of it, but not quite enough to kill her. Yeah, we're coming around. I'm Kaiza again. Oh, Jesus, no! Oh, yes! I'm, I'm stealth, you can't see me. Running around. We got him, the auto attack. Holy moly, this game, you guys. I'm just juking them left and right. Because when I go stealth like that, I mean, the Echo's uh, targeted dash, right, is phase rush. He can't see me, so he can't use it on me. All right, where's Udyr at? I'm not sure. And look at that wave clear. Super, super good. Because you can hit, like, three targets with your E. And the last one gets snared extra. So you want to line it up against the minions in the lane if you're lane phase. Uh, Nico. Then you hit the champion for the third hit. So Udyr's just pushing. I mean, I'm not sure whether I want to be worried about that or not. Oh, if I hit that. Oh, got with that one. The Rise Snare coming through. Alright, I'm gonna pretend to be Master Yi. I'm just a Master Yi. Oh. Big damage. Oh, Kaiser going through. Oh, damn right. I was going to hit Ezreal, but he actually ended up using his Flash. Let's pop the ultimate. Walk towards Thresh. Boom. Oh, I didn't reach Thresh. Get him now. There we go. Better late than never. Oh, God. Oh, missed. Oh, the shockwave. Oh, good Q. Hitting them both. Lots of damage. 
But I'm out of mana. Alright, who are we gonna be? Who are we gonna cosplay? I'm gonna cosplay Rise. Oh. Oh, auto attacks. No! Damn it! I tried to auto attack Ori, but she was out of my range. Damn it. <laughs> I screwed that one up. And wait, Udyr's winning! Yo, are we gonna lose? Yo, no one dealt with Udyr. That was my bad. I should have dealt with him. <laughs> oh, but wait, he's out of minions. What's he doing? Is he just trying to, like, kill all of our minions? Looks that way. Alright, hold on, hold on. We need to... Uh... No, actually, I like the protobelt. What's he doing? <laughs> this guy's crazy. Alright, hold on. Let's, uh... Let's see what's recommended. See, Lichbane gives me move speed. I'm gonna s sell this from the move speed on, um... Lichbane. I feel like this is a good way to go. And in fact, I could actually sell this for Luden's Echo. Even more AP. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I think this is like the most AP items I could really build successfully here. Other than getting a, like, Rod of Ages or Archangel Staff, you know, these mana items that I'm probably not going to get. So, okay, almost 900 AP. I can dig it. I'm okay with this. We got really lucky there that Udyr didn't just end. He could have easily ended if he wanted to. But man, 30 kills. This game's insane. Oh, alright. Well, I'm not going to dodge that. I was going to dodge downwards, but no chance. And look at all that healing. Speaking of which, my runes this game, I don't know if like, you guys are interested in this or not. I feel like you probably would be, actually, now in hindsight. Uh, runes are always in the description of my videos for those of you guys who just don't see the tab men uh, the uh, menu here sometimes because I oftentimes forget to turn it on. Um, we're going for a good fight here. Let's be Master Yi. I'm just a Master Yi. Oh god. Oh goodness. All right, well Oriana's gonna get one shot. Let's go and pop the R. Oh, oh, I couldn't quite get to Ezreal. I still got him now, right? Right? Please. Auto attacks. We got him. Okay. Oh Jesus. We're doing pretty good here. Kaiser with the damage. Alright, I'm just a rise. Master G's making plays in the base, too. Okay. What else can we do here? I feel like we might be out of things to do. Alright, let's just take out these minions. Oh, hold on. Here's Thresh. I'll just kill these, though. Get some money back. Get some HP back. But yeah, with my Ravenous Hunter, I've healed for almost 8k damage. <laughs> like, that's a lot of healing. That's why Ravenous Hunter is super good on these high damage champions like this, who can just sustain off of their spell vamp from the rune. Yeah, I don't really want to solo hard push down mid, to be honest, though. Their team will just kind of group up on me. But then again, that's kind of the perfect way to pop off with the ultimate. Oh, got him. Not this time. Oh, he walked into my fail. <laughs> oh, jeez, that big auto attack. <laughs> See you, buddy. Oh, man, I'm kind of worried, though, which way I go, because they're just going to pop me over the wall, I think. Oh, reach. Oh, I couldn't quite get him. All right, I'm going to be Rise. I'm just Rise. You didn't see nothing. Where am I going? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having so much fun just camouflaging. It's such a weird mechanic, but it's so fun. Oh, we're invisible. Oh, we're going for the Uder. Looks like that's the case. Big damage. Oh my god. My protobelt wasn't even there in time. He just gets destroyed. But yeah, he's got full damage. That's why. He's not any resists. But yeah, I really like this Lich Bane. I definitely would recommend uh, potentially earlier than I got it. I think without it, my burst wouldn't have been as... Or sorry, with it, my burst wouldn't... My other spells wouldn't have been as good. But with it now, it's like pretty insane burst with my auto attacks. Which isn't always where you want burst is the thing, right? Like, I kind of wanted to show the burst with the spells and we achieved that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Nico's just super overtuned, But I feel like her jungle's kind of underrated. This is pretty good. I mean, she's a chameleon at the end of the day, right? So being a chameleon, you'd kind of generally have a good jungle. Oh, please. Oh, my shield. Yes! The shield popped off just in time to save me. And now we're going to kill this Thresh. Blowing him up with the auto attacks. The Qs. There we go. Double kill coming through. And oh wait, we're going for Ezreal next. Uh, okay, I'll be Master G. I'll go nice and fast. Oh, can't reach him. What's Udyr going to do here? He's going to look for Soraka. The inhibitor. He's going after Master G across the damn lane. 
Oh, hold on. Save these guys. Get the spells in there. Oh my god, our damage to Udyr. This guy's just too much damage. And Ezreal's gone. Nice. Only... Oh no, Ezreal's over here. It was Echo that went down. Oh, reach. Oh, I couldn't hit that E. Good Q damage, though. Let's get rid of that tower, though, before it kills me. Wow. My protobot just annihilated that siege minion. Alright, Ezreal. Come on. Reach. Oh, I couldn't quite get him. Can pop the ultimate. Here we come. Oh, it's still a great way to finish the match. Damn, you guys. This champion is insane. Her damage is absolutely through the roof. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to drop that like right on the video. It helps out so very much. And subscribe to the channel. And comment down below what you think of this character and a chance to win one of the codes for a program LeBlanc. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.